In 90 days, I made roughly $4,000 in eBay sales, mainly selling cards like this. And it helped me get cards like this. And in this video, I'm going to talk about how I did that. Tell me low raw and sports cards don't sell. I want you to. First off, if I'm to go all in on selling raw cards, then I have to start with a clean slate in terms of what I have listed. So that meant I had to take all my graded cards that were currently listed and get rid of them so that I could purely focus on selling raw cards. You see, I wanted to establish a level of consistency and a new baseline for my store if I'm going to be selling raw cards. Then after a few months, once I've developed good habits and a level of consistency, then I can consider expanding it to either graded cards or even video games for that matter. But first, we needed to establish that baseline. So with a clean slate now established, it's time to start listing. But the question was, where do I begin? There's a great YouTube channel out there called Daily Refinement, and Chris over there provides great insight on how to crush eBay. When it comes down to the bottom line, it's all about being consistent. If you want to get consistent sales, then you got to have consistent practices, and that means listing every day. So with that in mind, I needed to figure out what my listing goal would be. How many cards am I going to list daily? So I figured I'd start September off with listing three cards a day. Then as each month went along, I would bump it up by two to three cards a day. So three turned into five, then five to seven, then 10, then 12, then 15. But reaching to that point posed a big problem. How do I source? Where am I going to find these cards to be able to do 15 listings a day? If I'm to reach 15 cards a day, then I would need a large inventory. So where do I find these cards? Well, fortunately for me, there were many options available. There was eBay, your local card shows, your local card shops. So that's what I did. I packed my bags, grabbed my shoes, and off I went. Being in Southern California, there seems to be a card show almost every weekend. All I had to do was look at the show locator on Instagram, and then boom, there you go card show this Saturday. So that provided a great source of inventory for my store. And living in close proximity to Burbank Sports Cards and its fishbowl and its large inventory, then inventory shouldn't be a problem. And if all else fails, there's always eBay. And with all that in place, I was able to generate over $4,000 in eBay sales in the past three months selling cards every day. Then I would take a portion of that money and reinvest it back in the store and take another portion of that money to help fund the purchases of these cards that you see here. Now, if you want to know why I think selling low-end raw cards are so great, then check this video right here. 